good evening, everybody. I don't think there's any delay to this stream, but one thing that people always ask me, Coco, you are indeed first. <laughs> Since Coco. But one thing that people often ask me is, what is your max solo? What is someone that you'll solo? What is someone that you won't solo? And the real answer to that is, it varies, right? That answer will always, always vary. I'm actually risking losing this solo to give this explanation. Usually I would just, my eyes would just light up in fire, right? And uh, I would just be like, well, I got a scout report. I'm just going to solo this. But here we are. I actually found a target and I've already ported next to him. As you can see, this guy is a 150 million might player. Typically, this isn't someone that I'm just going to solo straight off the bat. But as you can see, he is in pretty much like, I think this is like a mixture of gold production gear. And he's got a bunch of resources and a million troops, right? So let's do a let's do a slight breakdown. As you can see, he's somewhat archer heavy. Uh, come to your force, and he has pretty much uh, he's pretty much archer heavy, right? So that's really the only information that I have on this. And because that is the real information that I have on him, and as well as his heroes, right? I've actually done like a somewhat of an analysis on this guy's uh, turf already. So he has two gold range heroes, one gold cavalry hero, and two blue heroes which is a cavalry and an infantry hero. So with uh, the information that I have on hand, I don't know what his uh, formation is, I don't know what his front line is, so forth, yada yada, but what I do have on hand is his troop count as well as the heroes on his wall. So to save myself some troops. I pretty much always pop a boost. I'm not going to do a 50 for this because I'm actually about to go to sleep and I don't think I need to do a 50 for this specific hit, right? So let's see how this goes. I will make sure I do a checklist first. I am already in talent. I've checked already. I'm actually in my infantry cavalry talents. But as you can see, I will be hitting this guy with uh, full infantry. And uh, I swear if you hit this, I will be so mad and I'm never going to do this again. But um, I'm just going to straight up solo this guy, alright? Full infantry. And uh, lo and behold, he is an infantry phalanx, which means that I think I've pretty much destroyed most of his infantry, which means that I can actually start to... I can start to formulate another strategy for this. Since because his infantry is almost all gone, I can do a better hit and I will formulate a um, somewhat better hit, right? So I actually need to do this fast. I should have done this already, but for the sake of, uh, whoa, what the heck? Did I not click one hero? I'm goofing right now. I'm goofing right now. I'm goofing. I'm goofing. So for the sake of uh, just uh, bettering the hit, um, I'll explain what hit I'm using for this in a bit, but as you can see, it's uh, I'm I'm starting to cut into his his cavalry, and then I'm gonna go back to going back into full infantry. I'm gonna change my my chest midway while it marches. And uh, maybe I can change the formation before it hits, and it did, and this guy should be zeroed, right? So he's gone, he actually has a bunch of, uh, he has a bunch of wood on him, so I'm gonna take the rest of the wood. It's not worth calling everybody over to uh, raid this guy's remaining wood. <laughs> remaining wood. <laughs> but this is pretty much just a, just a basic thought pattern that I go through whenever I go out and solo people. So, Pickle Rick actually gained Battle Fury, so we should rally him, right? <laughs> so, 
just a brief rundown of what I thought there. You know, I don't really need the wood. If Pickle Rick wants the wants the wood, he can have it. Where's my scout report on this guy? There it is. So he only had 60 million wood. I don't really need that. If they want it, if he wants it, he can have it. But as you can see, formation is pretty much always a guessing game. Uh, but what you can do on your first hit is you can try to mitigate as much losses as you can to gain that initial information on what his formation is. And you always want to adapt on top of it, right? So I hit full infantry because I saw that he had a majority of archers in his lineup as well as having uh, two gold archer heroes. So I hit full inf. I could have actually done that a little bit better. I could have gone uh, infantry cavalry because uh, you always go with the assumption that they're going to be in infantry phalanx, right? And that I wouldn't be at the risk of getting capped because I already have his troop count, right? But in the end, I believe that the turnout is still pretty good. I killed... Let's, let's do a rundown of what we killed. So... Right here, it's just wounded. So he has 194,000 tier 3 wounded and 92,000 tier 4 infantry wounded. But the next hit, we start seeing reds, right? On this hit, he starts losing his, uh, his cavalry. So the remaining infantry um, actually starts going on red. And on this hit, he loses 74 thousand tier 4 and 315,000 tier 3 and then the last hit will wipe out his uh, his remaining range and so that's it so let's see let's answer the questions in chat and uh, I'm gonna scroll down all the way to the beginning because I actually haven't been paying attention to chat I had like a I had this feel I had this dialogue that I had thought of prior to uh, streaming this and as I mentioned I actually risked losing this solo hit just to provide content but I think it's it's something that everybody wanted to know it's a question that I'm always asked so I'm down for it right it's only a million troops that I would have lost on this solo so I'm glad that it actually turned out well and that the solo hit actually went through so I lost about a million might to drop this guy 8 million so to 20 million 30 million I lost a million might and pretty much all tier threes to drop this guy 30 million might so I think that it was a pretty good outcome and this is one of the PK guys who we've been all we, we're always hunting right so let's see to the comments Everybody's just saying hi. Hi, everybody. Sorry that this is actually going to be a very short stream. It's late at night. It's the, the day before Thanksgiving. So today I'm going to go to work early, which means I need to get some sleep. And I'm going to go to work early so I can leave early and not be stuck in traffic for like three hours. Today, today sucked, man. I went to work early at like 5.30 a.m. or something. And it took me an hour and a half to go to work. So I stayed a little bit later than I actually wanted to at work. And caught traffic. It took me two hours and ten minutes to get home. So basically today I was on the road for almost four hours. It sucked. Anyways, reading in the comments, uh, how am I doing? Doing great guys, thanks for asking. How about you? How are you doing? Uh, yada yada, when did Battle Buddy... Battle Buddy? Who's Battle Buddy? Is he always high? Cool, huh? Guy's beast? <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's been two minutes, what the fuck? <laughs> He's a good fighter, he loves his wall HP. Uh, I don't know what's good enough to stop a full T4 hit. What's good enough to stop a full T4 hit? Typically... It varies on your stats, right? Uh, 
And when I say that it varies, it's there's a lot of different variations, right? When you're taking a hit, you could be you could be unprepared, right? You could be someone like this guy. Um, man, I've been wanting to catch him. You could be like this guy, right? He had 3.3 million troops on his turf, and uh, I pretty much hit him with all tier four or a majority tier four, only 40k tier threes. So as you can see, this guy didn't have a small amount of troops on his turf. He's actually 200 something million, 230 right now, I think. Oh, he changed his name, Angoni. So he's hiding. Where is this guy? We gotta find him. Because this is someone that I've been eyeing for a while. And we've zeroed him twice already. I want to zero him a third time. He hovers at around 200 million. Is this him? Damn, I don't know. What did he change his name to? Excuse me. Hmm. Looks like we'll never know. Well, it is what it is. Angoni's gone. But you could be unprepared like Angoni was and took a hit even though he had 3.3 million troops on his turf. Having tier 4 research and some other resource, uh, research behind that because he only had 3.3 million troops, right? Or you could be fully prepared and uh, I hit someone before that didn't have that many troops but man it hurts. I don't know if I saved it, if I deleted it because I was salty. What is this look? Uh oh. I don't know if I can find a good a good example for someone with a small amount of troop. Someone with a s oh. This guy definitely didn't have a small amount of troops. <laughs> Whoa! I want to hit this guy again, what the heck? I think this guy is only like 200 million might. Whoa. Definitely want to revisit this guy's castle. Oh, he's in DOS. That means they're gone. Oh well, unlucky. Uh, back to the explanation. Either you can be really well prepared or you could just be someone baiting a hit, right? So... If you're in war talents, if you're in war gear, that makes a substantial difference as opposed to someone that's in like uh, research talents, research and build talents, and then they have like monster hunting gear on or research build gear on. It makes a substantial amount of difference, right? So there's no real set standard there onto how much you can hit, but how much I would hit, it all really depends on the person. I do this like brief rundown on their stats uh, as you saw before if I get a scout report then most likely I'm gonna hit that person because I'll have uh, information beforehand that I'm not gonna lose my leader it's not gonna be a risk and uh, like this person right here uh, AC we kinda had this squabble online chat and he was like bro you're not gonna win things like that yada yada so he marketed over and props Props to him, right? He he burned, but he didn't have any losses, and I lost 100 and k, uh, 130k tier four just to basically like big dick around the subject. But in the end, you could say that he won, right? He didn't lose anything out of this. He lost what, like a couple million resources, but I lost 130k tier four. So that's pretty much the the point that traps make, and it is what it is, right? But in this game, which is highly centered around ego and players' egos, right? I'd say that was a win for me, right? Because you burned a guy with 10 million troops, then all four of you, right? So. Um. <laughs> Nimbo wants to get soloed. Not tonight. I I am personally going to go to sleep, so for all our enemies, you know that I'm going to go to sleep, feel free. I'm going to be popping my anti-scout on and I'm not telling you what uh, formation I'm going to sleep in. Alright. You want to rally me? Rally me. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. I've seen I've seen a lot of these billion might players slip in without their hero, with their hero. But I think that pretty much anybody in this game can get zeroed if uh, your opposing enemies actually wanted to, right? Anybody. I've seen billion might players in war gear and war talents get zeroed. People in gold champ get zeroed. So. <laughs> Don't port to 129 just to zero me. It's not, it's not worth it, guys. <laughs> Have a good night.